There are mixed reports about whether Harry and the King are going to be meeting when Harry comes over to the UK for the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. Now this is an important ceremony his legacy project, and something that his father and his brother have been behind in the past, um. I don't think we can expect to see the King or William at the 10th anniversary service, but there are questions over whether Harry will see his father. I think there is every chance that, that the King will make time to see Harry. We're hearing the God a busy diary he does have a busy diary we know he's now back carrying out public engagements. But he will want to see his son don't forget that Harry rushed over here to Britain as soon as his father was diagnosed with cancer. They had a, a quick 40 minute meeting. It didn't last very long, but it was an important icebreaker Charles is keen to really get his relationship back on track with his son. His relationship with his son is very, very important. Um, he loves his son whatever has happened he wants to have a rush or that's going to mean spending some time together. So I know that the king is going to do everything he can to find even a brief window in his busy schedule so that he can see Harry far less likely, that there's going to be any meeting between Harry and William, and Kate Kate is of course, going through um, treatment at the moment um, we haven't seen her, we don't know how she is coping with that William's got quite a busy schedule of engagements, and um, I think it's very unlikely that there's going to be any meeting I was speaking to a source um, close to William and Kate only the other day, who said never say never never rule out the possibility of a reconciliation, but it's all in the timing, and at the moment, the timing doesn't feel right. So hopefully a meeting for Harry and his father. Far less likely that there's going to be any meeting between Harry, William and Kate. Well, Harry will be coming over to the UK alone. Megan has said that she won't be coming. Of course, it's Archie's birthday. And got Lee to look after um back in America. But that hasn't stopped Harry and Megan from traveling. And indeed, they will be traveling to Nigeria next month as well. So he is traveling with his family. Megan doesn't want to come back to Britain. I think that's that's for a lot of reasons. I think she doesn't feel welcome here. There's also the issue over the security for the family. When they're here, we know that Harry's taking action against the home office. Because he wants taxpayer funded security while he's over here. And the home office has said that that is going to be reviewed on us by case basis. Um, If Harry brings his family over here, he's probably going to have to pay for that security himself. So that may be one of the reasons that Megan doesn't want to come over here. Invictus is Harry's thing, and the next time that we see them together overseas, will be in Nigeria Harry and Megan's trip. To Nigeria is being billed in the press as an unofficial royal tour that's not strictly accurate. This isn't a royal tour in any shape or form. This is an invitation by the Nigerian government for the couple to go and visit the country. Don't don't forget Megan is I think something like 40% Nigerian. Um. They are going to be going over there to discuss the possibility of an Invict Games in Nigeria. So it was a great opportunity for them to go and set up meetings for them to go. And um, be seen to promote the Invictus brand. But they're not going over there in any official royal capacity. The king could mark his return to public duties with any engagement of course that he wanted to do. But I think to choose a visit to a cancer treatment center. Where he was speaking with other people about their experiences of cancer. That they were going to meet with carers and nurses um.